Okay, now that I have the basic outline for the for the spots, we're gonna start adding guidelines. Basically, what these are, these are for for uh, it's almost like a map to show you once we start indenting which direction to start. And the hair flow, it also indicates the hair flow. So we're gonna be working in layers. So down here, this would be the lowest layer. Then the next layer would be above, 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 and so on, right? So we're gonna start down here. Basically just rough. Just to indicate like the hair flow. Also, this is a good good way to indicate that the hair doesn't grow straight like it does hair doesn't grow like this straight down hair overlaps curves so that's why I like doing this it's just a okay we have that so in the next layer would be above So these hair, these hairs will overlap the ones at the bottom. Over time, you could do this like quickly. You don't you don't need to make them this close. So this part right here, this would be like the. This is like the black hair, but black hair is not completely black. The black has reflections and all that because of uh, the light that's hitting it. So it's not completely black. So what I like doing is I like to add a couple of like indentations within it. And I'll explain what indentations are once we get to that, that step. So from here on, I just keep adding these guidelines. So these hairs, you see these? These are the lighter hairs that are gonna that are gonna overlap the the black hairs here. And then these black hairs that come out of here are gonna overlap the lighter hairs here. And these light hairs are gonna overlap these black hairs and so on.